hours, Governor Cox says that he has met with health and state advisors to come up with the best plan to protect Utahns against Omicron. Our response to COVID-19 right now uh, needs to change as uh, the virus has changed. A new plan to attack the latest Omicron surge impacting all aspects of Utah's lives. In schools, since Christmas Day, new COVID cases increased from 1,200 a day to 9,500. Recently, one school district in Utah saw nearly one out of every six of its full-time employees absent for health or other reasons. Daily COVID testing has gone up from 19,000 to almost 48,000. With the delay in getting their normal supply of tests, Governor Cox says people have waited hours in long lines. Every single industry, we're struggling to find employees, and that is true in testing as well. Until more tests arrive, Governor Cox announced some temporary changes, a pause in test to stay, and if you have symptoms, do not get tested. Stay home, isolate for five days, and assume you have COVID. On day six, if you're feeling better, if you don't have a fever, it's reasonable to go back into society wearing a mask for another five days. It's an approach Governor Cox hopes will help Utahns reach the peak of Omicron in the coming weeks. I am more optimistic than I have been at any point in this pandemic that with Omicron spreading so rapidly, um, that we that will help us move on. The upcoming legislative session begins next week. House Speaker Brad Wilson says there could possibly be procedural changes due to COVID. We'll be sure to keep you posted. For KSL News at noon, I'm Tara.